Greetings everyone and welcome to the first ever episode of Patch. So I've been pretty hyped lately, what with the awesome trailer of Battlefield 1, and this was reinvigorated once I remembered to watch the Nvidia announcement. Yes, that's right everyone, Pascal is here. On May 6, the GTX 1070 and GTX 1080 were announced. Both of these cards run on the Pascal architecture, which features a 16 nanometer FinFET GPU, 7.2 billion transistors on the die, 2560 CUDA cores, 8 GB of GDDR5X, and a whopping 10 GB per second memory speed. This is all for the GTX 1080, by the way. Those expecting HBM2, uh, the Titan or the 1080 Ti will probably feature it, uh, but for now, this is what we have. Now we all know Pascal is efficient as fuck, which will mean it's probably got a low power demand, and this also means that not much cooling is going to be needed. And with cooling in mind, they have redesigned their... Uh, their cooler shroud to this sexy sharp one and it looks awesome. The card also features new DisplayPort 1.4 which is capable of driving 4K at 120Hz. I mean, can you imagine that? That is going to be incredible. <laughs> Let's just hope the uh, 1080 Ti or Titan when it comes out will be able to push that. Uh, <laughs> one can hope. So in terms of cooling, the card now features a vapor chamber design. This means low temps and it means better overclocks. In fact, the card features a 1733 MHz boost clock, uh, but does also advertise over 2 GHz for overclocks. In terms of performance, we have had word from NVIDIA that the 10.7 is to match or beat the Titan X which is crazy considering its price, which I'll get onto in a second. The 1080 is to perform significantly better than the Titan X, uh, and a lot of people are saying it has anywhere from 1.6 to 2 times the 980's performance. And looking at Nvidia's website, 3 times the VR performance, although this isn't really that necessary because current GPUs can perform just fine with this. Now let's get onto the price. The cards feature both a regular edition and a founder edition. Now the regular edition is just what we're used to. The founder edition has probably got a better PCB, uh, probably better power delivery, and this means that it has a much bigger overclocking headroom and also comes factory overclocked. The GTX 1080 will go for $600 for the regular edition and $699 for the founder edition. In the UK, I'm guessing that will probably be $450 for regular and around $520 for uh, founders. The 1070, however, will go for $379 regular and $450 founder, which equates to around about £300 after all the taxing and everything because it's a bit more expensive in the UK for regular and 350 for founder. Now the launch day of these cards is May 27th, so make sure you buy quickly because they will go out of stock very, very quickly. We have not seen this good performance for your money in ages. I mean the 970 was good, but this, this is much better. Titan X performance on a card that costs 300 quid. The Titan X costs 800 quid for God's sake. That's mind blowing. Anyway, I'll definitely be picking up a GTX 1080 Founder Edition, probably. Uh, I'll be selling my 980 Ti in a few days, so I can make sure that I have all my money gathered, ready for the launch day. Uh, before I leave you guys, I'm just going to give you a few good sites where you'll be able to buy it if you're in the UK. Now, my favourite sites I would probably recommend is More Computers, which is where I bought my 980 Ti. I bought my mine for 530, which was my G1. Uh, which was significantly cheaper than everywhere else because it was going for around 570. Um, Aria PC is also quite good, but their delivery charges are a bit big. Um, Scan is also a very good site. You usually get a free game with that one. Dabs, although they have changed a little bit, all of their stock is the same, so I'm guessing they're still just as good. My friend bought a GPU from them. And obviously, if you're in the US or Canada, NCIX or Newegg is probably your best bet. 
But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, then do show your appreciation by tapping that like button. I love your face, and I will see you guys in the next one. Ta-ra!